The first game's out of the way. Time to buckle down for the long season ahead, and we're off in week two. second down well sometimes as a running back you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be but in this case there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv and you run into a tough crowd so just three yards on the completion there and it brings up third and five now it's time to give more credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. But now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Brandon, we've both been around the game Here long enough that we, we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a start right out of them. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, ready, then ready. they drilled him. Second and five now. Tua. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. They put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Frees up your guys elsewhere. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Lewis. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Two and a throw again. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. And no matter what the situation, the old line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys that they weren't playing football, they'd be starting in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. The kick by Sanders is good. And the opening drive for the Dolphins yields three. 
Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Here's Gibson to start the drive. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. This defense for the Dolphins, terrific last week in the season opening victory. And I'm eager to see the game plan and try to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, what do you do now when you go into a game? Do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try to run it more? Or do you tell your quarterback, make sure you see your guys open before you deliver? A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. The Chiefs had 0-1 on the year following the loss in the opener. And listen, they knew last week they were in for a tough fight on the road. But now here's the home opener and a chance to get things right. And I like the way that you presented that because the bottom line is they didn't come out of that loss discouraged. They just came home and said, hey, if we do what we're supposed to do, protect our home turf, we'll be just fine. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw into the hands of Lockett. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. The Dolphins take over first and at their own 20 yard line. Let's go! The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They've got a 3 0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. And he can't find Receiver and he's brought down. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. Another try after the first down sack. Tua. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, the gap man coverage on the outside and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Looking left side and it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Tua. On oh, the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the back where there was a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. Back to the air on second down, Tonga Bailoa. He finds his man complete. That's Summers. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that's going to bring up third and two. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. The 
Dolphins on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. Here it's third and two. Throwing now is Tagovailoa. Got a man. It's Waddle complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and Here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Tua. Wide open receiver complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory, down at the 33. Again, they will throw it with Tagovailoa. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. On second and ten, Tua. He gets this to Thornton. And they eventually get to him at the 17 after a pickup of 17 into the red zone. First down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Lewis. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Second and three from the 9. They run with Lewis out of the gun. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Some good, strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Looking to pass. Tua being chased out left. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. Excellent recognition that none of his receivers were beating coverage and getting open, so he just threw that one away. They'll come back to the huddle reset and try something different. A second down run with Lewis. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two, now third down. Now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill, his second touchdown on the season, and they are able to add on to their advantage. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and the lead grows to 10-0. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. He hits his target, Lockett. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now Mahomes. And this one too low. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. They'll go. It's Gibson. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. 
So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Jalen Phillips, the former first-rounder, getting in there for the sack. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Here's Mahomes to throw. Over out of bounds right at the 25. That would have broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out, but his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. They go play fake. Mahomes. Escaping the pressure right. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Mahomes going to throw. Got a man. It's Gibson complete. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll run with Gibson. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penalty. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Debo Samuel. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Chiefs have got it back to within a score. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Touchdown. Here's McLaughlin to kick off. Kenny Duwagu now out of his end zone. A solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. After the sack on first down, Tua, he's going to air one out. He's got a man complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. 
Now Lewis here on first down. And he is going to lose yardage here. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time they'll lose one or two. No, he didn't spike it. He faked it. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Caught right side. It's Lewis. And the Dolphins are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Going to the air. Tug of Iloa. Throw right side. Going to be caught here by Waddle. Always oh, brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. Only a yard of the completion. It's second and goal. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. Sanders' kick is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. It'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Now this offense hoping to avoid the 0-2 start. Now they trail, but they've got a first and 10 here. now to throw. He's got Gibson on the out route. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Working with a second and four. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 25-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. 
It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. On first and ten, it's Gibson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Quick hitter here, it's complete. A good display of power, but it will only get him just inside the five to the four. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Hunter Henry from four yards out. And the Chiefs have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that will put them on top here in the third. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Nwangu now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. at the line ready for their next drive and Charles it feels like we're set up for a good second half here came out of the locker room one score game now the lead has already changed hands well this offense they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back yeah and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match right and we're just there you know our heads just keep moving which side has it which side's going to score how are they going to go out doing it a little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other to throw on second and ten. Tua. They're going deep for Hill. And yeah, this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick. But instead, it's third down. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. And then come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. He's going to go up top again. And that's caught inside the 35. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down inside the 15. It's a big play there for Miami. 65 yards. Well, he's been doing this for a lot of years. And the arm strength still there. And he showed it off on that one. Now Tua just going to bat this forward on the end around. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. That was a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Now a give, running right is Lewis. And he maneuvers his way down to the 3-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Yeah. Now two are going to try and sneak it. And not only did he not get in the end zone, he didn't get the first down either. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. And you wonder, Charles, could that decision come back to haunt them later? And it really could, because in this situation, you kick the field goal in a tight game like this, that's a good play. Yeah. 
but maybe what he's saying to himself is, I'm just not a big proponent of the old idea that any... And the pass to Henry is intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. Well, they were obviously backed up. Had a little bit of space from the goal line, snapping it from the three, but still try to throw it. And... Yeah, exactly. This is where hindsight is 20-20 comes into play, right? Seems like a good idea to throw the ball there. Maybe you'll surprise him and catch him off guard. Instead, you've created a turnover, put your defense in a bad spot. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. And the Chiefs will take over here at their own 14-yard line. The one side gets an interception, but their defense comes on the field and picks him right back up by getting a pick of their own. And I think you saw the same thing that I did, Brandon. As he ran off the field after making that play, we saw his quarterback seek him out and offer a personal thank you to bail him out a little bit as the offense takes the field again. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They'll go with the option, coming right. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. He lost two there, and it's third down. Well, he's had success running the football in this one. and yeah, That's undeniable, but that time the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football, but you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. And he goes out right around the 39. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And a close game like this, Charles, those interceptions like they had on the last drive could be costly, but here they've got another opportunity to seize control of this game. And they better take advantage of it because otherwise, if they end up losing by one score, they'll relive this over and over and over until they have another opportunity to wipe it away. Now it's Tua. Try to lay one up deep. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Up the middle here, it's Lewis. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Here's Tua. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Tyreek Hill. His second touchdown of the game, his third of the year. And the Dolphins have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. The two are going to try and throw for it. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth-quarter lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From the 10. And he's going to be out of bounds here right at the 20-yard line.
The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. That's Samuel caught left side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there, just like last play. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10 to throw. It's Mahomes. It's complete to lock it. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Dolphins are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at about the 32. A good start to the drive. Here's that's caught out on the left side. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. On the handoff, here's Lewis running right. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. On second and nine, Tua. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Chris Jones picks up his second sack of the afternoon. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. Ready? Throwing now is Chug of Iloa. Over the middle complete. That's Hill. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. I don't know how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. And that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain. Still a place to go, though. And that will wind up just short. He had it online. It ran out of gas at the end. And this will remain a one-touchdown game. And that one hurts a bit. That was a golden opportunity to possibly put this one on ice, but he comes up empty. And how big of a miss might that turn out to be? Stay tuned. There's still time left on the clock. This could be critical. Still a one-score game. Had he hit that, it would have been two scores. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On play action, it's Mahomes. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. 43! I give up the middle to Gibson. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. Yellow. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Throwing is Mahomes on third. It's caught. Lock it. They find some open field here. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Mahomes. 
and finding the tight end Hooper. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 13 yards down to the 13. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Back to the ground with Gibson. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Mahomes. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a given. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. Nwangu now from his end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think if Micro, the head coach, has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? What does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So a line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and 10. Two to throw. And that's caught at the 25. It's a big play there for Miami. 59 yards. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. And they will take a knee here. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And they'll indeed take a knee. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And they take a knee. And we are set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. So it all rests now on the right foot of Jason Sanders. Two seconds on the clock, this for the win. And his kick is good. He knocks through his third field goal of the game, and this one is the one that decides it. And it'll be a good time in South Beach tonight. The Dolphins have won the game. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that 